Welcome to this week's episode of 60 Seconds with the Superintendent. Well, it's spring, which means it's time to spread some mulch. But if you're anything like me, I never know how much to order. Well, our Strongsville Middle School students, in collaboration with our Historical Society and the Rotary, did a project to enhance the grounds right here. And one of the tasks that they had to figure out was how much mulch to order, as well as giving back and learning the life lessons of volunteerism. Let's take a look. When you do a project-based learning experience for the kids, you always want to have a, a problem or something that the kids are trying to solve. We're doing a landscaping project in school, and it just so happens I get contacted by the Rotary and they want some help cleaning up the Historical Society. So you're trying to set a goal with the kids to coordinate efforts with the community. This couldn't be a better situation, especially with the Rotary. I think the biggest thing is for a group of kids, now all of a sudden they're getting out and they're seeing that people in the community care about them and they want to do nice things for them. There's opportunities for them to get involved out in the community. We have the middle school students coming over here today, about 20 of them to help at the Historical Society to help clean up some of the grounds here. I've been working with Mike Rodak for a little over a decade on project-based learning experiences where we try to get the kids kind of out in the field for some real life uh, examples of different careers and things that they can do. And it's nice to have the kids engaged in the community, to have them not only give back to the community that they were raised up in, but also know that there's a lot of community members here today to help support them and teach them the skills that they're going to need uh, to be successful later on in life. It means the world. And uh, we're really working hard to re-engage community at all levels. Uh, in this case, we've got middle schoolers that Beyond what they're learning as far as what they might want to do for career, we're teaching them that, and beyond that, there's a sense of community where you can get involved and do things on a civic level and help out organizations like the Historical Society and um, do things that, yeah, it might be kind of hard work, you're going to feel tired at the end of it, but you get that sense of satisfaction of um, knowing that you did your part to help build our community. You guys are service above self. That's one of our mottos. And so service above self, uh, we feel it's very important to establish the type of community that Strongsville is and that we want to be. We have been part of the Connections programs, gosh, for, for decades now. And the, the connection that we've had has been uh, uh, just really valuable. And we want to see that continue over the years. You know, the earlier the better. We had some elementary school uh, kids that, that just left not too long ago. So I think the earlier that we can instill those values and skills and thinking about your community and service above self, uh, that is phenomenal. So we're glad to see that the middle school is, is joining in. So learning in the classroom, that's an important part of what we do. But applying our learning and doing that by giving back and supporting our greater community, those are lessons we want all of our students to learn. As always, thanks for watching and go make it a great Mustang week.